Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing kind of like a story time, but I also have like some props to show you guys. Okay, so about over the summertime, I went to this store called The Wine Guy. It's located um, in a town called Smithtown here on Long Island. Now this store's been here for about, I think at least the past five years. So since like 2014. Um, in 2014 I was 18, so obviously couldn't legally drink, so I wasn't going there. Um, and I also didn't know about it. I just found out about it over the summertime because one of my friends, Marissa, um, after work one day, her dad had her car that day, um, so he picked us up and he had to stop there to get uh, wine. Um, I think like some white wine, he was using it to make some sort of dinner. Um, and she had been wanting to take me there anyways, so we went there and like, I'm like really sad I didn't find out about this store sooner because they literally, like it's huge and they have everything, like they have wine, spirits, basically wine and spirits, but it's really cool and they also have like, like cheap wine, like they even have like this little section where it's like this big square like container like you know when you go to walmart and you see like the bouncy balls and like the little square like box thing it's basically that but like instead of bouncy balls it's filled with like bottles of wine it's everything um red wine and white wine so and it's like two for ten so you can literally get like a bottle of wine for like five dollars it's great um i've definitely done that deal a couple of times so it's pretty cool so i follow them on facebook and they have this like what's it called it's like annual grand wine tasting where basically they had 23 tables and it's like all these different vendors with like different types of wine so i wanted to go it was on there was one on saturday and sunday um in November. It was probably like the first weekend of November. So it was a couple of weeks ago now. And I want I was gonna go with my one friend Marissa, but she works on weekends. She works retail. So she was not available. I asked my mom and I think at first she said yes and then she was like no I don't want to go and then randomly she was like hey like let's go or whatever and I was like oh my god. So it was happening from I think like 12 to 4 or 1 to 4 something like that and we didn't leave my house until like 2 30 so by the time we got there it was probably like 2 45 so then by the time we parked it was probably like 3 because this event was so poppin which I oh my god I sound like a 80 year old mom okay grandma which I pretty much am um so yeah, I didn't know like how popular this event was, but it was very popular. So when you go in, first of all, let me show y'all. They hand you this list and it's literally like all the different tables. And like, you could literally try like every wine. Um, on the Facebook page event, it said like, Oh, like sample over 150 like wines and that's kind of crazy but I'm sure there were people there like literally like from when the event started to when it ended like sampling like every single one uh what my mom and I did was we went to each table so the tables were numbered so you knew which one was which and you just pretty much would go up to them and say hi I'd like to try this and they would let you try it so I don't think my mom did, but I definitely tried like at least one of each from like every single table. But like they give you, okay, so for going, and this is a free event, mind you. So you also get a free wine glass that says the wine guy, wine and spirits with some grapes, cute. And it's like a decent size, like wine glass. So they probably fill it like to here maybe so it's literally like a sip of wine i don't know like i feel like i i definitely had breakfast that day because it was a saturday 
So I probably had like eggs and toast or something. So like, I got like kind of buzzed, but like not really. Um, but my mom got like pretty buzzed and she also ate while we were there. Like they had like some assorted like cheeses and pepperoni and like eggplant and chicken parm like sandwiches. So she literally got like the last chicken parm sandwich. Um, I didn't even want any, so I was like, whatever. But I did get like a few pieces of like cheese and pepperoni and she got those also. And then the event is free, but of course you're like encouraged and like, you know, kind of like supposed to buy something. And she wanted to get wine anyways. That's like why we went, but there also happened to be like this event going on. So she already finished two of the bottles. She got, I think from the first table, a Pinot Noir. She also got a Riesling, which apparently she really likes. And here's the inside of my fridge. This is the only thing we have left. It is this plum sake. And this bottle, like, if you can't tell, is huge. And this was, like, the whole order for, like, this sake, the Pinot Noir, and the Riesling was $31. So you figure, like, $10 a bottle. Um, all from, like, all bottles we tasted at the tasting and then literally, like, they had, like, bottles you could buy, like, on the table and, like, open bottles that they were, like, sampling. So we literally just, like, took them off the table. And I wish I had all three bottles to, like, show you guys, but, I mean, the other two bottles were, like, your standard, like, size wine bottles, but I feel like this is huge. But this sake is so good like who knew we liked sake like none of us did but even joey tried it and was like holy shit like that's good like it just has a really good flavor they also had an apple one which i feel like was definitely more um fitting since it is fall but that flavor wasn't like as strong this one's just like really friggin' good um, and I also want to insert a couple of Snapchats I took while we were there. One of them I think you can kind of see, like, the store. And then the other one is just, like, my mom, like, kind of buzzed. So enjoy that. Friends! What about me? It's a video. <laughs> <laughs> You're in it. I'm pretty buzzed. So anyways, it was a super cool event. I really wish I would have like brought my camera and filmed, but also like everyone and their mother was there, so it was very crowded. Um so it probably would have been like really hard to film. Plus like it was kind of like a last minute thing, and I think my camera was dead at the time, so I couldn't film even if I wanted to. But it was definitely really cool if I go to something like this again which I mean it's an annual thing so obviously it's not going to happen until next year but um I do plan on going out to like the vineyards this summer I've like been wanting to go since I turned like 21 pretty much and like I didn't even really get into alcohol until I was like 22 or maybe like even closer to 23 um but I've definitely been wanting to go to the vineyards like since I really got into like wine and everything and they also have like places that do like hard cider which i'm also into and they have like beer breweries and shit there's all kinds of cool stuff so i would definitely bring you guys along for that but that's probably not going to be until next summer because all those places are out east and really only run during the summer season when things are being harvested um so yeah i hope you guys like this video like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.